Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to go through my three paper four tips for the 0580 course so you're ready in that transition between the paper two and the paper four coming up on Monday. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you to all the support on the channel. The paper two prediction seems to be very very useful for you. I'm glad that I could have even that little tiny impact to really make your paper two easier. Number one is that you need to take the paper two topics, so think about what topics have appeared so far, and then think which topics have not appeared as they are more likely to appear on paper four. Now I've seen from the comments, so from the different variants of this paper, that things like transformations, differentiation for example, have not appeared yet. So make sure you find those topics that have not appeared yet and really focus your revision. Now I go through many of those topics in the paper, all of IGCC 0580 paper that you'll see above and that really goes through all those specific topics that you need to revise. Number two is be aware that paper four is a two hour, 30 minute paper. So you need to make sure that you're prepared, make sure that you've got a water bottle with you, for example, make sure you've eaten beforehand, because this is a really long exam, it's a very crucial exam, and make sure that you have enough food, enough water, to make sure you can concentrate for that two hour and 30 minute paper. And my tip three is that mental reset. So regardless how the paper two went, whether you think it went really, really well, or you thought it didn't go so well, you need to take that mental reset and think, okay, paper two is done now. Okay, that's already done. Okay, let's think about paper four, what I can do to improve my performance on it. So do you have any tips of yourself for actually doing really well on the paper four? Then please do check out the comments and pop it in below because it'd be really, really useful to hear your own experiences of paper two and how that's going to feed into paper four. Again, thank you for all the support and I'll see you on the next video.